Hey guys, and welcome back to the Courageous Nerd YouTube channel for another interview. I'm Connor, and joining me is actor Sven Temmel to discuss his role in the new thriller Survive the Game, starring Bruce Willis and Chad Michael Murray. If you enjoyed this interview, or the others on the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, so welcome, Sven, and thanks for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you very much for having me on. For sure. And I guess we'll be uh, primarily talking about your role in the upcoming uh, new thriller film, uh, Survive the Game. But I guess before we get into that directly, I was wondering if you could like discuss how you first got into acting and what inspired you to pursue you know, a career in this industry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, I grew up in, um, I was born in Austria and then okay. I moved out here with my family. And uh, my dad had a restaurant were Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Bruce mm. Willis, Jean-Claude Van Damme, all those guys would come and visit. And I was so fascinated by it because I would watch their movies and then I would see them in, in person and I was just so confused that they could be two, three different people. Yeah. And they would, uh, you know, take you along this ride uh, in movies. And I was just so fascinated by that, that that's even possible. And that's yeah. actually what sparked my interest in the beginning is that I wanted to take people on these journeys on this ride of uh, emotions and uh, let them escape reality for a couple hours. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mentioned obviously survive the game, which is what you've got coming up and without giving too much away, like, could you kind of tease like, maybe the plot of it or who you play? So I play Cal, I play uh, Bruce Willis's uh, partner in crime. Okay. And the movie is pretty much just an action packed movie from start to finish mm -hmm. it deals with uh, these two cops that are after these drug dealers and uh, I get a little bit hot-headed and ahead of myself and sick and tired of these people ruining lives that I don't really think about it I just run into this warehouse without yeah. thinking twice and uh, well things don't go so well as I planned and mm -hmm. um, the chase ensues onto this farm where Chad Michael Murray's character lives and then it's our job to uh, take down the bad guys. Absolutely. Yeah. And obviously you mentioned Bruce Willis and Chad Michael Murray. And I've actually also done an interview with uh, James, who directed the film. And uh, that'll be oh. out by the time this one goes up. But I suppose, like, how was your kind of experience of working with those guys? And on, on I mean, working with, working with James is just incredible. Mm. I mean, uh, from the start, he knew exactly what his uh, vision for the movie was. Yeah. And we got along from the second we met, I, we just bonded. And that's really important as an actor to trust your director, that he knows what he's doing and that he can trust you with um, what he wants you to do. So we bonded from the first second and I loved working with him and I hope to work with him again in the future. So he he had some strong ideas for the movie and I think they worked out really well. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I remember kind of speaking with him kind of like whether working with Bruce Willis on a film like this, obviously you might, might, might go to something like John McClane and Die Hard, like did you kind of um, go, go anywhere like that, kind of the surreal aspect of being with Bruce Willis on a film in the genre? I mean, working with Bruce is just a dream come true. I mean, I've worked with mm -hmm. him in, in the past on some other movies, but not okay. to this capacity where, you know, we're partners and we work together. So I actually had to, you know, create that and make that real for me. But it really wasn't that difficult with him because, I mean, he's so professional. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And he brings something special and something that, you know, he can do really well. So he made me feel comfortable from the second that we got in that car and uh, we started rolling cameras. Yeah. And I was going to ask about your like your audition process for landing the role in this film. And just because of what you just said, that didn't uh, knowing Bruce Willis beforehand help or hinder you in any way in, in landing in the, in so the, the audition. The role. It, it kind of worked. Uh, I knew some of the producers that worked on this film and mm -hmm. they actually uh, when they read the script, they gave me a call and they said, hey, Swen, we think you'd be perfect for this role of Cal. What? Mm -hmm. um, what do you what do you think so i read it and um took a look at it and i fell in love with it right away because there's a lot of similarities between cal and myself yeah and um yeah so that's how that went sometimes it's just about who you know 
Yeah, that, that's the old kind of adage, isn't it? With this industry in general, like less about what you know, more about who you know. And yeah, definitely. It, having... it helps to to be in the industry for a little bit and build up uh, relationships with various people because everyone's always making movies and you never know when there's a part or a role that comes along that they would think you're perfect for. Yeah. And again, like when I spoke to James, I kind of asked him a similar question to what I'm about to ask you, but I guess a bit differently. I kind of asked him, with all like the similar like thriller kind of crime films already out there, how he approached it thematically or trying to make this film different maybe to what's already out there. But like for you, you know, kind of um, your perspective as an actor, like do you think, uh, how, how do you think it stands out compared to the other films that might be similar? I think it just has more heart than um, some of the other action movies. I mean, you actually feel each one of the bad guys has a very strong personality it's not like oh there's goon one there's goon two three right. so on but you kind of go oh there's that guy there's the, the one with the mohawk and there's the girl there's the there's the guy with the tat they all mm. have such rich personalities and then chad's character my character bruce everyone has such a strong personality in this movie that i think that's what really makes it stand out James is very good at making each character important. Mm. There's not a single character in this movie that's sort of like a flyby or uh, he's just there to say a word or two. But yeah. each character really is important to the movie and he's really made sure that people know that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's a term that you're familiar with, but it's kind of the same thing you were describing, but like Red Shirt, it comes from Star Trek, where basically they're just there to die. Uh, that's yeah. the whole reason they're there but, but there's no one like that in this just saying that. no i mean there's plenty of people that die in this but you oh, yeah. actually remember who they are when they die because mm. james has made sure that you know yeah and obviously you mentioned earlier on like at the start of the conversation so like did you move from austria to los angeles like to be an actor or did you move to los angeles earlier and you fell into acting that way yeah, so I moved here when I was uh, younger because my dad started businesses out here. So the whole okay. family moved out here and then I kind of fell into the, the acting world. Yeah, but I guess maybe then to anyone who might be thinking about making the move if they're from elsewhere, whether like elsewhere in the States or like just generally, like what do you think, uh, what advice do you think you would give to them before committing to? I mean, I would say if it's that. something that you truly feel passionate about, if it's something that you really are willing to give your life to, and dedicate time and money and effort to i would say go for it why not everyone's got a dream to do something if you have a dream to be an actor mm. you go ahead and pursue it you do it with 110 percent. if you kind of just say eh, i'll give it a try then there's no point but if it's something that you're like i really want to do this i yeah. really want to become an actor then go for it do everything possible to to try and make it because you can yeah yeah, and again, like I've said it with, um, before when I was speaking with other actors and kind of what they've told me is that I know um, it's kind of there's a lot of rejection that could kind of come with pursuing a career in this industry, but it's not necessarily uh, on on you. I think that's something people might not fully yeah. grasp that, oh, you know, I I'm, I'm just must be a terrible actor if I'm not booking anything, but it's just more that's about what of... they're looking for. That yeah project. that's sort of the hardest thing is to get a thick skin of hearing the no the no the no mm. and know that it's like you said it's most of the time it has nothing to do with you mm. sometimes there's things that are going on behind the scenes that ugh, there's so many variables to getting a job that you kind of just have to do your part and let it go i mean yeah i'm not saying don't care but in a way do the best that you can and then move on to the next one mm. and that's that's easier said than done because yeah. you sometimes get an audition that you're like i had one recently that i was like this is this is mine this this right. is mine yeah and then you never hear anything back and yeah even now there's still a level of disappointment because you think you're like i killed that audition i really mm. did well but even now you still gotta say okay you know you never know what happened yeah yeah, and this is actually the last question I've got for you, and it's just uh, kind of a tricky one to drop in at the end. So, I, like, like heartedly, I, I apologize, but you know, I'm just kind of joking there. But like, uh, like professionally or personally, like, and kind of what do you hope to accomplish in the coming months, like as this year ends and into 2022? Well, my goal is to you know keep working, keep uh, getting work, and 
you know, pursuing my dreams and my passion. Mm. And uh, my goal in life is, you know, you always have to set big goals. And I yeah. think big goals are very important no matter what you do. And that's hopefully one day uh, I'll play Wolverine. Mm -hmm. And um, that's my dream role that I want to play. Yeah. And then, you know, one day down the road, hopefully maybe stand uh, on the Dolby stage and um, get an Oscar. For sure. And I mean, uh, best of luck with, you know, that aspiration with Survive the Game and like your further you. um, endeavors going forward with, with your acting career. And I guess all the best and take care and stay safe. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me on and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.